Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your neighborhood friendly Zion here, or Z, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a crazy story about the time when my friend broke his arm. You know, he was really stupid for doing this, and none of you guys should ever do something like this. But without further ado, let's dive into it. So, this story takes place about a year ago, and my parents weren't in town, which was pretty out of the ordinary. You know, I had the whole house to myself, but I wasn't planning on throwing a party or doing anything stupid like that. I just, you know, maximum wanted to bring over a few friends and that was it. So that's what I did. I invited a few friends over and we were all literally just kicking it in my backyard. You know, I have a fireplace and a huge seating area. So we were just talking and stuff and we cracked open a few beers. We were just, you know, drinking with the boys. It was a great night, but you know, great nights somehow always take a turn when I'm there. One of my friends, you know, let's just give a, give an idea of who this person is this guy basically is one of my tight homies but if you give him alcohol he turns into a complete retard okay a complete it just he loses so many brain cells he just does whatever comes to his mind you know he gets an idea and he goes and executes it which i mean in some instances could be good you know if you see a girl and you want to get her number but in this instance it turned to shit so about two hours after drinking and, you know, everyone was kind of buzzed and stuff. One of my friends was drunk. And this is the friend who just does whatever's on his mind. So he goes inside. He goes running inside for some reason. And I was like, there's no way I'm letting him just run inside my house unmonitored, okay? But he's definitely on a mission. He's going somewhere. So I follow him and my friends follow me because, you know, we had been just sitting. And so we go inside and he's running up the stairs to go to my room. And my room is on the second floor. So he's at the top of the staircase just standing there. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like, what are you up to? And he's like, listen, I want to try this. And I was like, try what? And I'm going to put a video on the screen of what the staircase looks like because I'm not even going to try to explain what it looks like. So this is where he was standing. And then he ran over to here. And then he hops over this railing and he decides to stand on this edge. Okay. That w <laughs> and so I'm looking up at him from down there and I'm just like, what are you doing? Get on the other side of the rail right now. I'm not even joking. You're going to hurt yourself. What are you thinking? This is the stupidest idea. What are you getting out of this? And he's just up there like, I'm not going to fall. Don't worry. I've always wanted to do this. I was like, always wanted to do this as if going over this rail at my house is some bucket list thing that you need to do during your life. Like, it's not that crazy. Get over right now. I'm not playing. And he was like, okay. So he literally lifts his leg up to get over the railing and his drunk ass kicks the end of the railing and he literally falls back, right? He falls back all the way down and then he lands on his side he looked like he just landed on his side and then he starts yelling and i was like oh my fucking god this kid just hurt himself i don't know what's wrong with him and he starts screaming he's like my arm my arm i can't move it and i was like nice bro nice now we have to go to the fucking emergency room my other friends started laughing because they were just like this moron and then i i'm panicked because you know he's in my house and now i'm worried i'm gonna take him to the fucking hospital and like explain this shit and so we end up fucking getting in the car immediately because he was like screaming, bro. He was screaming like a little bitch. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it hurt that bad. You know, he was exaggerating it a little bit. But, you know, anyways, we put him in my car and we take him to the hospital. And we fucking get to the hospital and we had to explain to them why his arm was broken. And, you know, that was pretty much it. It was really, really stupid. And I can't believe he did that. I don't think anyone should have some dumb idea like that. Like, who the fuck thinks to do that? Like, why would you think going over the railing? Like, I, I just don't understand. It doesn't make sense to me. Like, that's not even a thing. Like, <laughs> I've never seen anyone do that at my house before or even think about wanting to do that. I was like, what is the point? He just wants to show off because he's drunk or some shit. I don't know, but he fucking learned a lesson. Let me tell you that much. He broke his arm and he was in a cast for a while. You know, he definitely learned his lesson. But, you know, I hope you guys learn from this. Don't do some dumb shit like this. Even if you're drunk, you know, you're not invincible, okay? Bottom line is when you're drunk, you're not invincible, okay? You have confidence, but you can still get hurt. So, yeah, that was basically how my friend broke his arm and, you know, the stupidity behind it. If you guys did enjoy this video and you guys got a kick out of it, you guys got a laugh out of it, make sure you smash that like button and drop a comment down below. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload next. It's Benny Neighborhood Friendly Z on here, or Z. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. Live it up, baby. Listen.